Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Python commonly asked coding interview question series, today let's discuss about how to divide a string into equal k chunks. Alright, so there is a string that has been given to you and you want to divide that into equal parts provided a value k is given. For example, if the value of k is 5, you want to divide that string into 5 equal parts. Alright, so that's, the, that's all the question is all about. Let's see how we can solve this. So first we'll create a string, string1 equal to, um, let's call the string as an IT professional. Alright, so there's a string that has been given to you and value k, for now we'll call it as 6. So now you want to divide this into 6 equal parts. So that's all the problem is all about. Alright, so let's see how we can solve this. So I'll just print the original string so that when you compare it in the output, finally in the output console, it will be easily readable and you can easily visualize. So original string is string one. Alright. Now I will calculate the length of the string which will be use, useful useful for me throughout the code. So I am just calculating the string length. String length equal to length of string 1. Right? And here I want to calculate the split length. Okay, So into how many characters I want to split. For example here the total value of the length of the string is 18. So here I have like 18 characters. So the length is 18, the value of k is 6, but so 18 divided by 6 will be 3, right? So I for my first split will be an underscore, my next split will be it underscore. Similarly, I will split all the remaining characters present in the string. So in order to calculate the value 3, right? So th that is the split length. What I need to do is I'm just calculating split length equal to length of Sorry, we have already calculated the string length, right? String length divided by the value k, which is 6 in this particular problem. Okay, so now we calculated the string length and we have calculated the split length. Alright, now we have to use a traditional for loop to iterate through each and every character in a string. So for x in range 0, comma string length comma split length all right so this is one way of using range function if you are not sure about how this range function works i will provide a link of the video which gives in detail about how range in python works all right so here in this particular example so we are given three parameters right first it starts with zero and it ends at string length which is 18 in this particular example and the split length will be 3 okay so it will be like 0 comma 18 comma 3 so what this means is so you have you will have to start from 0 and end at 18 with the delta value the incremental value will be 3 okay so it will start from 3 6 9 12 15 18 etc okay this is how the we can use the split length value Alright, so now we are iterating through each and every character in a string and then we are finally we have to append it to a value. So let me call that value as result. Here I will create a value called result equal to, I will create an empty list. So now I want to append it, result dot append string1. So this is little tricky, many people get confused here. So how um, this is very easy. So result dot append. So what you're doing is you are appending to the existing empty list using append operation. What you are appending is you are appending the values of these characters by splitting it. Alright, so how we can implement this. So all you need to do is 
you have to provide an iterator say x here in this particular example x is to x is plus split length split length is 3 here right so it will be like x equal to x plus 3 okay but since i am providing the variable i am providing split length here x is to x plus split length okay so if it is really confusing do not worry i will up and show you how this these two line works finally print it print the chunked list is it is a list right so i'm just converting it into a string of result now if i run this program yeah here it is so the original string is provided here and the chunked list is you can see first we have an underscore it underscore and it is divided into six equal parts with three characters in each split okay so this is how you can split the strings into equal k chunks okay so you can change the value of k and try how it works for different values all right so sometimes it might be con confusing for little two people confusing for people who do not uh, no who are not sure how a for loop and up and operation works so do not worry i'm placing a debug pointer here so i will show you what happens at each and every line so de i'm debugging it so now my program stopped at this particular debug line which is at this for loop so you can look at this gray value all right so when you follow this gray value you can easily understand what is happening at each and every iteration here my string is an it professional the string length and the value is 18 the k value is 6 so 18 divided by 6 will be 3 the split length value will be 3 and my result is initially empty and now if i step over if you look now the value of x is 0 which is which starts from 0 the iteration value starts from 0 and now if i again step over you can now if you note the result value is now uh, included with an underscore the first value is appended right first three characters is appended because we have we are providing the delta value is 3 right the split length value is 3 right so so all the in the first three characters got appended here and then now if i run this again step over now the x if you note now the x value is 3 traditionally in a for loop the value of x will be like 0 1 2 3 it will be appended incremented by single value right now here it incremented by value 3 so now when x is 3 you can see now if i step over now you can see the result and underscore and it underscore got appended into the result list similarly if you keep on running through this loop now the value x is 6 now if you step over the next value next three value got appended similarly you can complete the entire debugging process to look at what is the actual value of res sio nal all right now it completed now if i come back to the console you can see the value got printed successfully so this is the this is our original string this is our chunked list okay so this is how you can use a traditional for loop to divide the string into equal k chunks okay so this is one elegant way there is another elegant and easier way is by using a list comprehension okay so we have discussed a lot in our lot about list comprehension in our python beginner tutorial series i will provide a link to that video as well you can look at it if you have any queries here let me simplify that process okay so i will all we are do, going to do is we are going to use the same for loop only but try to write it in an elegant way using a list comprehension okay so now I, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to comment these three lines you can compare how um how i have changed this particular three lines into a single line of code okay so result equal to string of string one 
of x is to x plus split length for x in range 0 comma length of string 1 comma split length all right here it is <laughs> All right. Okay. Now let me run this. Mm, length takes exactly one argument, but two given. What is the mistake I'm making here in this particular line for x in range? Have I used the braces correctly? Give me one additional brace. I'm making any mistake here. Let me look into it. Probably I might have missed any braces for x here. Um, string one, string length is closed. Uh, and me split length for x in range zero comma length of string one comma split length. Uh -huh. Right, what is the mistake I'm making? It length takes exactly one argument, but provided two is given here. Okay, so length. Okay, I think we have already calculated the length of the string here, isn't it? I have not closed it. All right, here it is. Fine. Now, if I run this, you can see the original string is this one, and the chunk list is. The same the output is basically same but the way i have written the code is slightly differing but you know what i've done is i've used list comprehension to write it in a single line of code in an elegant way and this is using a traditional for loop all right so if you provide this particular uh, solution i think interviewer will be very much impressed uh, because he or she might strongly believe that you have very good exposure towards python because this is an more Pythonic way of writing your code. All right. So yeah, that's all what I want to cover as part of this video, guys. In case if you have any queries, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe and follow my channel. Thank you.